Hey everyone, this is Max Katz with Outpre.io. We just relaunched our SendGrid plugin, which allows you to send emails via uh, API. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the plugin. We also added new capabilities that you can now send attachments as an option uh, in the email from your app. So let's get um, uh, started and see how to use the plugin. So the first thing, we're going to create a brand new app. We'll call this SendGrid app and click create all right we got a brand new app now the next thing we we're going to import the plugin and to do that we're going to create new from plugin and we got this angry plugin and just click import now it's going to ask you if you want to change the star page so the plugin has one page mail and we want to use that as a starting page so let's click and the plugin is now imported you can see now one more thing i'm going to do is i'm going to change the theme so the plugin comes with one extra theme and it's the material design and that's all you need to do if you would like to do that now let's open the page right in this outlook so you can enter the two email the subject the message you can also attach a photo and of course that has to run on a device and so for that, I'm going to show you how to use the app reader, your test ray app. Now, if you're testing in the browser, it's going to send a sample image that's created in JavaScript. And the image is right here, uh, is uh, as base64 uh, format. Now, file upload um, is a helper JavaScript file that actually does the uploading or sending of the binary file uh, to SendGrid. And then services has the camera service, right? That's the Apache Cordova uh, camera service or API. And then the SendGrid, this is the service that actually sends the email uh, with SendGrid. Um, now we'll go to request and then query string. What we're gonna do is you do need to set the from email. So we're gonna set it. We can also optionally send the from email. So for example, my name here. And then to and to name uh, subject and text uh, of course you can set those in runtime and that's part of the app um, we also need to set the API key and the API user and what's important is that you don't want to reveal the API key and the API user um, to anyone and so um, that's why it's not a good idea to keep those values on the client because really then someone could get access to those values and then use your SendGrid account now what we're going to do is we're going to keep these values on the server, right? And um, let's set it up. So first we're going to click on the database because we're going to be storing the values in the database. Let's create a new database we'll called the SendGrid DB. And we'll create one collection. And now we're going to add two columns. First is the key, and then this will be the key value. And now we're going to add two rows. So this is going to be API user proxy, and that's appre.io test. And one more is going to be API key proxy. And um, that's basically your SendGrid password. So I'm going to copy this value and set it right here. So now these values are stored in the database or in the server. And so again, no one will have access to them you know, if they look in the app uh, itself. Um, next, we're actually going to create the proxy. And then the proxy will use the database to get these values. So let's go to secure proxy. I'm going to create a new proxy and we'll call this SendGrid proxy. And the option that you need to select is use proxy and store sensitive data in the database. And this is how you map the proxy to a database. So SendGrid database, and this is the collection we created. This is the key column, and this is the key value. All right. All right. Um, let's go back to the app. And we need to tell the service to use the proxy. So we go to settings, I'm going to click the refresh button here to get the new list of proxies. And this is the one. 
that I just created. Um, and that's all you need to do to configure the plugin. We can now test in the browser. And let's enter apri.io.demo at gmail.com. Example plugin. And again, um, we can't attach a photo because we're running in the browser. I'm going to test it um, in just a little bit later on the device. But for now, we can just click send. And we get a message, which again, this is optional. You can turn it off, of course. And now, if we go to Gmail, we can see right here. And this is the sample image, just the Opry.io logo. And this is the message. All right, so again, very simple. And... Um, it works. Now, before I test on the device, let me just show you one more thing. Um, if you don't want to send an attachment, uh, that's very easy to change as well. So if we go to mail page and we click the button, we open events and we open the JavaScript. So there are two calls here. So one is upload binary helper. So this is where we send an attachment and that's what's being used right now. If you would rather not send the attachment, then you can just come in this line and then use this one. So this will not send the attachment. Uh, very, very simple. All right. But now let's see how, uh, let's test this app on the actual device. So I'm going to get an iPad here and I'm going to share, um, show the screen in just one second. All right. And so what do you guys see here? is um, this is a, um, a Apri Dario tester app that you can download. It's available for iOS and uh, Android. And this allows you to test native apps without having to install them on the device. So here we go. So this is a list and you can see Sangrid app. This is the app that I just created. Let me load this particular app. All right, so you can see the same app. And again, this is now a hybrid app. So um, you do have access to device APIs. Um, so let me enter an email. This is at gmail.com. I'm going to call this test. And this will be test from device. And now we can actually invoke the camera. Right, and I have a plant here. I'm going to take a picture of the plant. All right, and you can see it shows a little preview. And then we're going to click send. And we get the same alert. All right, so let's go to the, let's go to Gmail. And we just got a, another email, and you can see this is the image that um, that was sent. All right, so you can see uh, it's very simple to use. I mean, the plugin is basically uh, pre-configured for you. You do need to set the proxy, but again, we think it's important to protect your information. Uh, but other than that, it's very simple, and you can test on the browser, and then you can test on the device. And you have an option to send with an attachment. Or if you would like, you can also just send a plain, plain email. So definitely give this a try. Go to opri.io and sign up. We've got a completely free plan. And you can try this plugin. Thanks for watching.